Huh. That's great. So, so I'm calling you through an app called Recall Recorder. It lets me call numbers, and it records the phone call itself remotely. It's pretty cool. It's like a quick and dirty Skype on a phone, but it's a pot line connection. Oh, that's nice, but, you know, uh, it didn't say, oh, well, you know, I think when it rang, though, it said a different number than yours, right? Probably, because I have to call them, and I hand off your number, and then they call you from the number I handed off to them, so you see it coming from them, not from me, something like that. Uh, and and it and announced to me that it's being recorded, which is, I guess, like, really... Like a, you know, a, a compliance thing, like you can't, right? Yeah. There's, there's a setting. You can make it beep every so often if you want, or you can turn it off so where someone knows yeah. you're being recorded. I mean, isn't it just so funny, this one little law passed, whatever, you know, 50 years ago or something? You know, we're still governing software development. Or, you know, you know anybody could, um, I don't know. I mean, it's really it's literally that development, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, what's the big deal if you're recording a call or not? Like, what? What's the frenzy over that? You know? I know. I don't know why Skype doesn't allow this, but this this company can do it. But anyway, you and I were talking about um, our our Monday morning um, um, uh, you know, ghetto language exploration hour, and mm. the difference between walk the walk I, and talk I, the talk. Yeah, we're trying and, to and slow. Money talks and bullshit walks. I mean, that, uh, yeah. So here's the problem. Money talks and bullshit walks is one, and talk the talk and walk the walk. Right. And how and, are they related? Uh, well, uh, yeah, you should have ever complicated it really, but if you understand that walking and talking are sort of, I don't know how you say, this, this, this contiguous and and each, you know, separate thing, then you come closer to arriving at the meaning of each. So. Uh, talking the talk and walking the walk. So the walking the walk is good. Talking the talk is, is sort of just just getting going. It's, not, it's sort of bad, but you don't want to just do. But in the case of um, uh, money talks, okay, that's what you want to be doing. You want to be talking because bullshit, which is not talking or it's not money, really. But wait, to, in that case, yeah, the, the walking would be, no, now I got completely confused. Maybe you can explain it. Well, you got to get let's let's get back to walk the walk and talk the talk. In a way, I see a, a, a I see a Catholic Protestant paradigm here because the Catholics walk the walk and the Protestants talk the talk. Well, faith by words. They want to go faith to by, <laughs> Yeah, faith faith by words, faith by deeds, right? So, Catholics think that your work shall save you. That's walking the walk. And the Protestants think talking the talk is what matters. You got you have to get down on your knees and say some magical spell. Dear dear Jesus, Lord, I accept you into my heart, and then then you're good forever. And and you say that's talking the talk or walking the walk. Yeah, that's talking the talk. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. So they're just talking because I was just thinking that like, getting down on your knees is a kind of a walk. I mean, it's, that's sort of walking the walk. But you're saying you have to live a good life in addition to... to yeah, that's what walking the walk is. That's the, the, the Catholic idea of good, doing good works. Okay. Yeah, earning that, earning that, your way. I think all that's but, very clear. But, the, but the I, don't think do. I don't think you have to the expression means walk the walk and talk the talk. And I'm trying to figure out what the connection is between money talks and bullshit walks. <laughs> I know, but it's <laughs> exactly. To I think money, money talks talk. means if you got money, you're offering money to me, it talks to me. I'm listening to it. I'm yeah. open to it. I know, and thereby causes you to walk. I mean, cause you know, causes like action. You know, causes no, no, the walk. Uh, uh, money talks and bullshit walks. The money, money doesn't causes, cause you to walk. Right. The point is, your money causes your wishes to be instantiated into your living reality. The you money know? talks so, to you. It has meaning to you, and so the deal can proceed. But bullshit walks means get out of here. You're, you're, you're not willing to pony up the real money. Get out of here with your bullshit. I don't want to hear you. 
Okay, but in that case, I think the walking is being done by the hearer of the word of the bullshit. You know, not the bullshitter himself. Um, because if you're bullshitting me, I'm just going to walk away. It's not that I'm going to tell you, hey, stop bullshitting me. Go walk. <laughs> but don't walk yeah. the walk. Yeah, right. Yeah. But bullshit walk, whatever you do, don't walk the walk. <laughs> just, just, walk, just half walk. Just do the first walk. <laughs> don't do the full walk. Yeah, that's, that, is, that is just... You know, what you just told me is such bullshit. It strikes me that it's, it's more like talk than walk. So I'm going to have to ask you to walk away, but not in a full sort of walk that would imply that you're walking the walk. I think we have to get full Urban Dictionary for the, for the definitive answer on all these things. <laughs> you have to do a silly walk. <laughs> well, it just strikes me as strange that, that, uh, that both, and I think there must be a different, I mean, these might be two different languages in effect, you know? I mean, I have a, I, I detect in this money talk bullshit walk thing as a, a little bit of a sort of a Cajun, you know, <clears throat> Louisiana uh, uh, thing to it, you know? I mean, it's a little okay. bit, a little bit of a, a rural, a rural feel to it, you know? But, let's, all right, let's go. Um, let's go with let's go with Urban Dictionary. It says, "Money, money talks bullshit walks." It means that cheap talk will get you nowhere, while money will persuade people to do as you like. Okay, I like that. Okay, but what does that mean in the context of bullshit walks? I mean, it means that the person being bullshitted walks away. Yeah, it, it, they have to walk away because they're not going to. They're not making any yeah. progress. It's, yeah, money money persuades people to do what you want them to do. Bullshit causes them a level of incredulity that that uh, prompts them to choose some other communicative partner. Yeah, I think it, it does tie into discourse ethics, but one one way or the other. <laughs> Oh wait, I think I got a confused opinion. Because he's like, it just causes him to, to walk away. He's like, oh, why should I stand here listening to your bullshit? Okay. Okay, walk yeah. the walk. You know, hold yeah. on, an Urban Dictionary. Walk the walk means show others about something by your own footsteps, your own example of the way to do it. You yourself are walking the way for them to follow by your own, by your own life. For example, oh, wow. he told. She told them at the meeting, you need to walk the walk your, yourselves for them to understand. By your own example is how they will learn what it means to be a Christian. I told you it always comes back to Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, okay, but that's walking the walk. Let's see what talk the talk is. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying this. I think that these are actually the same in that case because you think about it, when you hear, hear, hear bullshit, you know, you should walk the walk. I mean, you, you shouldn't just talk and say, hey, that's bullshit, you know. You have to walk the walk, which is like you have to walk away from the bullshit. That'd be a good name for one of these uh, Japanese fusion places, walk the walk. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, initially, I thought that these were completely different usages of walk and talk, but now I'm realizing that they might actually be the same, you know? So, well, let's see here. Talk to talk is defined as to talk honestly about something yourself. Someone that talks to talk talks with integrity, honesty, loyalty, and love. Walking to church, Sheila said to Britta, talk to talk yourself. You can't say that about her and then turn around and say the opposite. Talk to talk. What? You got to talk to I talk. Thought, yeah, but I thought... Talk to talk meant that, uh, meant that you, you know, you, yeah, you were saying anything of any relevance or meaning until you could back it by certain actions. And yet, it, means you're not it, it means be consistent with your own message, brother. You tell the sisters, you're talking to talk to the sisters. <laughs> you see, it, it basically means no backbiting. you got to talk to talk. I, I'm confused. 
necessarily confused because I thought I thought that talking to talk. I think you talk to talk when you write. You talk to talk. Yeah, I just I just I, it's a little confusing me because uh, 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 because uh, you know I I would have thought that talking to talk was like you know so 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 irrelevant as to, be, as to even be slightly regrettable. But now you're telling me it's, it's a kind of a moral injunction. You know what's interesting? Um, do you know how much it costs to use Urban Dictionary on my phone? You use it on your phone? Yeah. Do you know how much it costs to use Urban Dictionary on a phone? How much? Nothing. And have have you ever heard the expression "you get what you pay for"? Uh, yeah. Well. I, you know, every time I hear you get what you pay for, I always think money talks, bullshit walks. You ever hear someone say, all he cares about is money? Something like that. He's so greedy, all he cares about is money. Yeah. Which means you have some guy that keeps accumulating money somehow, but he's never in his life spent a dollar in the, on anything, ever. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know if you can. I don't know. I think you probably spend and still care about money. I mean, I mean, I think the expression that doesn't, that doesn't mean that he keeps all the money. It just means that he keeps wanting to get more. No, they say all he. They say all he cares about is money. Oh, so you would care about money more than you would care about a bet, or or more. <laughs> Or more than you would no, if you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you buy a chocolate bar, you care more about the chocolate bar than the money you spent for it. So every, everyone, that, no one cares about money only. That is a Well, they wouldn't great, spend it. That's a, really, that's a really great criticism of a common, that actually, you could really annoy the hell out of people by just correcting them when they say that. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Oh, really? He, yeah, he, he, he's never had a this meal? Is a, this is a, the libertarian way to live, you know, so he says, oh, well, you care about that. He said, actually, that's not really possible. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain to you why I'm going to be very pedantic right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sort of the libertarian way of going through life. Tearing apart people's phrases. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk the walk now. You going to go talk the talk? Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to Hey, listen, I've got the best idea for an article. I'm going to, I'm going to bang it out today. And I don't, think, I don't think this is commonly known. So um, I kind of want to write it up, although I'm a little bleary-headed this morning, so I'm not so sure. But I want to document. That's actually been documented so many times. I want to explain and put into like actual prose. This very interesting empirical observation, which is really obvious once you hear it, that welfare states tend to be unsustainable in demographically heterogeneous communities and stable and growing in homo and homogeneous communities. And okay. Because that's really, really interesting, isn't it? I, I mean, think it's you, potentially interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's a fa it's a fascinating sort of empirical matter, right? And but as I mm -hmm. thought about it, I thought, you know, this is why. Do you remember, um, like, like why the left is always sort of lecturing us about about our our family? You know, the the nation as a family, uh, mm -hmm. or as a community. You know, um, or like what was Hillary Clinton's book? You know, something. What was it called? It takes uh, a village. Yeah, yeah, we're like, we're like a, we all raise each other in some way, you know. Um, and the reason they do that, is they want to, they want us to feel a kind of like a tight connection to, to all of our fellow so, I mean, there's an essential collectivism. It's very similar to what the way Trump thinks of the nation, right? There's this kind of weird collectivism about it. The thing is that you have to kind of impart the sense of mutual duty and stuff if you're going to get people to do things like go to war, pay high taxes, support a welfare state, and so on. Um, you've got to have a kind of a sense of identity with your fellow citizens. 
But when that begins to break down, these, these institutions become unsustainable, you know, wards, welfare states, and all the rest of it. And the biggest way for them to begin to break down is for you to look at your fellow citizens and go, fuck, you're nothing like me, you know, different language, different race, different accent, you know, you know different, different, different class, you know. So the more heterogeneous the population is, the less sustainable collective action is. Why are you not just amazed by this? Um, I'm walking the walk. I'm talking it. <laughs> I just gave a beautiful presentation of boiled down of like 50 years of, of very obscure scholarly that helps you see the world in a completely fresh and new way and you said nothing. I'm thinking. thinking about the process. It's a fascinating point, isn't it? I think it is. I think it has potential fascination ability. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that there are five implications. Mm. Stefan, I'm sure there are five implications. All right, I want to stop this recording and send it to you, and then we can post it. Are you recording still? Yeah. Yeah, but there are five implications, not four, not six. Yeah, That's I know. Right, it's know. exactly five. No, none of them are redundant. You're sure you've exhausted all the categories. <laughs> no, that's redundant. Have you ever heard of Prager University? Yeah, I don't know much about it. Well, I just found out about it last night, and it's, it's actually fascinating. Um, uh, uh, it's a kind of a right, uh, kind of a, I don't know, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's a, it's definitely right wing, but it's not like, but it's, it's, it's kind of Yankee right wing, in other way. It's like, I'm not sure I would call it neo right wing, but, uh, um, but, but, like, they have all these things, like, the Civil War wasn't back in their favor, you know? And, and, but then they have a thing that, that's like, uh, uh, but, it, but it's pro-free pro free enterprise, you know? So Walter Williams mm -hmm. has a lot of it, and stuff like that. But, yeah. but it's not libertarian, really. It's more conservative. Uh, it's, like, conservatarian. But a little bit imperialist, so they have like a, a complete video on like why bombing Hiroshima was the greatest thing ever. Stuff like that. It's a little bit nationalist. It's like nationalist conservatarianism. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, uh, oh, what I wanted to tell you, actually what's, what's actually amazing about it is, oh, I guess there's a guy named Dennis Prager. Okay, and he's like a Fox guy or something. Okay. He's a best-selling author. Uh, okay. So he's like some kind of star. He's like a... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's like a... He's like a, like a, like a big conservative star or some sort. But, but I'm telling you, this thing, the site is brilliant there because the videos are getting like a million views or two million views. Isn't that incredible? I mean... At a time when everybody's struggling to get attention, the whole thing is like um, five-minute videos, and it's really rocked it. It's 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 been amazing. Well, I see here Larry Ed Elder, Alex Epstein, Brett Stevens, and Dennis Prager. Uh, oh wow! And to get into their summit is a thousand dollars. This whole thing is really expensive. I know, you should look at it. I mean, I try to follow like who's up and down in um, in and and sort of website media world, and I'm actually like blown away at, at what kind of progress these people have made in such a short period of time, five years basically. Let's see what they're doing on Alexa, actually. Hey, did you read my essay on stress out? Mm. 
Oh, about how people need to get a job? Yeah, millennials? Yeah. I agree with you. I like it. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, I like yeah, it. You get a job. You don't have a lot of sympathy for these idiots, right? Do what? You don't feel a lot of sympathy for millennials and their struggles. No, I do. It's not true. I don't think it's their fault they're millennials. It's not their fault that they're millennials. Yeah. Right. They were born into this situation. Oh. And a lot of them, a lot of them are great. They're dealing with the opportunities at hand, man. Yeah, the yeah. The opportunities at hand suck, so they're dealing with that. Right. Yeah, I do feel sympathy for them, sure. So I like the piece. I agree with you, of course. You like, you like earn, yeah, earn, earn some money. Have some self-esteem. Have some purpose. Learn a practical yeah. skill. But they, they really hate it. I mean, they really hate the commercial marketplace. I think it's just because they're not a culture, even though what the fuck it is, you know? Yeah, that could be it. I, I, I mean, really, it's just, it's just so confusing to these people that just don't even understand what it is. They don't understand what, they, what it means to bring value, you know, and they're sort of, um, I mean, I mean, they, they're, and the problem is that, you know, they start shouting bullshit and then they cause everybody to walk. Mm-hmm. And then they don't get money that allows them to talk. So they can't walk the walk or talk the talk. They can't money to talk. They can't even get enough money to talk. Money is speech. Yeah. (laughs) Time flies and time is money. So money flies. You know, I have a sense that you've thought about a lot of these things on on uh, stoned nights as an undergrad. Mm, that wasn't me, dude. Not a stoned undergrad here. Times are different. Yeah. Oh, really? For engineers, yeah. For my, for these engineers. Yeah. We didn't time, time to go. I mean, who's got time to go looking for a, a pot source? Jesus. Yeah, I got my regular guy named Joe down the street. Yeah, he's a good source for me. Jesus. Fucking losers. Yeah. Wow. Let me get you good. Good job. A, a thousand people at, um, um, a thousand people at the European Students for Liberty uh, conference. A thousand. Oh, you know what we just should have did? Instead of this, we should have done a YouTube live video. Oh, you can only do oh, one person. What's the, what's the difference between YouTube live and um, Google Hangouts? YouTube live comes from a verified channel. <gasps> and I think I it's just I can't yeah, believe you have told that's, me. That's, that's what I told you? Yeah. Uh, it comes to a verified uh, channel and it's only, it's only you on your iPhone. Huh. I didn't know you could do uh, uh, a YouTube live from your iPhone. Dude. Yeah. I didn't know that. You did have a couple already. I've never done one. Yes, you have. No, I've done Facebook Live. I think you're confused. You've done YouTube Live. I've never done YouTube Live. I've only done Google Hangouts and, and uh, Facebook Live. Oh, maybe you're right. Facebook Live. Is that when you get the verified thing on Facebook? Yeah, I mean, I was sitting here thinking, is he confusing YouTube yeah. and Facebook? Yeah, I'm confusing because I had YouTube Red, but I thought YouTube Red lets you do that too. 
Yeah, I think you just, you just, I mean, this is a typical example of what happens when you start talking about software, you know? I find myself having to, you know, check out your claims after we get off the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a mug on the walk. You have a mug on the walk. Hey, so the hot tub, uh, the hot tub in my apartment unit is is, uh, is 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 going great. You put some lavender in it. <laughs> some lavender. Is that what you put in a hot tub? Hell oh, yeah. Bath salts, sea salts, lavender. You got to you got uh, you got to pamper yourself, man. Pamper. I I didn't know I didn't know about that part, but I don't think you can really do that because I live in an apartment complex. If I took lavender into the unit hot tub, I think people would mm -hmm. want to kill me. Oh, the unit hot tub. I can just put a dollop. Yeah, I can't imagine. Can you imagine me showing up in my unit hot tub with a with bath salts and lavender? Well, don't tell them. Just act like someone else did it before you. <laughs> well, what's that in your hand, buddy? Mr. Lavender Man. <laughs> no, you put the package on the side, but you got a piece, big piece of tape on it saying Big Jim. And you say, it was here when I got here. I don't know, guys. There's some Big Jim here. Oh, oh Big Jim and his lavender uh, bath salt? Yeah. You don't want to mess with Big Jim. I can promise you, if it was a guy who put lavender in the hot tub, and anybody in my apartment unit had to guess who did that, mm -hmm. I'd be top on the list. Hmm. Well, I guess they could have a trial. <laughs> <laughs> you could get your, get your own attorney to represent you. <laughs> All right, let me let you go. I'll send you this recording. We'll post it later. All right, sir.